The Oakland slash Las Vegas Raiders have had one playoff appearance since 2002. In 2016 under coach Jack Del Rio, they lost 27-14 in the wild card round when quarterback Derek Carr was out due to injury and Connor Cook was their starting quarterback. After a 6-10 record in 2017, Jack Del Rio was fired and John Gruden left the Monday Night Football booth to become one of the highest paid head coaches in NFL history. Gruden had coached from 1998 to 2008 but has been out of the game for a long time at that point. Gruden of course once coached the Oakland Raiders from 1998 to 2001 before being traded to the Buccaneers where he embarrassed his former team in Super Bowl 37. Once returning to Oakland on a 10-year, $100 million deal, the expectations were that Gruden would continue to be the same coach he once was and get the most out of his team. Gruden rejoined the Raiders in 2018's offseason and immediately made some big and controversial roster moves pretty early on. There was the trades for Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper who were arguably the best players on the entire roster and neither player was older than 26 years old which is why it was so confusing. In return for both players, the Raiders acquired three first round picks, a third round pick, and a six rounder. After going a disappointing 4-12 in Gruden's first season, the Raiders hired NFL Network's personality Mike Mayock to be their team's GM. Gruden and Mayock have had a good relationship up until this point, but in terms of roster building and winning, the process does not seem to be going the way they had envisioned a couple years ago. On the bright side for them, Raiders owner Mark Davis says he's happy and has faith based on the progress that Gruden and Mayock have had in their first two seasons together. In the Gruden slash Mayock era, the team has went 7-9 in 2019 and 8-8 eight and eight in 2020. It seems as if things are trending in the right direction, but the Raiders being 7-5 and five at one point and losing their last 3 out of 4 in 2020 was definitely a letdown for a team that should have made the playoffs. Entering 2020, the Raiders looked to have been on the right track since Mayock and Gruden were at the helm. The 2019 Raiders rookie class looked like a massive of success at first with Cleveland Farrell, Josh Jacobs, Trayvon Mullen, Max Crosby, and Hunter Renfro. Then came 2020's class where not only was that class disappointing, but many of the 2019 class did not take that year two leap that they had hoped. 2020's class consisted of two first round picks that were considered massive reaches including Henry Ruggs at number 12 overall and Damon Arnett at number 20 overall. Ruggs was outproduced by Nelson Aguilar who was an afterthought as a one year signing and for Arnett he had injuries, plenty of missed tackles, and allowed a 106 quarterback rating against him. Their remaining picks consisted of wide receiver Lynn Bowden who was traded to Miami along with a 6th round pick for a 4th round pick just a couple months after being drafted which was very odd. Wide receiver Brian Edwards, safety Tanner Muse, guard John Simpson, and cornerback Amik Robertson. Now self-admittedly I was a big fan of Brian Edwards coming out but it's safe to say that the Raiders have to be somewhere near the bottom of the league aka Packers level for at least production from their 2020 draft class. In free agency it has not been much better for Gruden and Mayock. Nelson Aguilar was actually a nice surprise. Corey Littleton, who signed for $36 million, struggled severely at linebacker. Nick Kukowski signed for $21 million and was pretty good for his first year in Las Vegas. And then a bunch of veteran signings that made little to no impact, like Jeff Heath, Jason Witten, Demarius Randall, Malik Collins, and Carl Nassib. Even the year prior, in 2019's offseason, their big signings like Trent Brown and Tyrell Williams have showed the inability to stay healthy. The worst part for the Raiders is that they're stuck in this middle ground or this area of treading water and not actually having an identity. Being a team like the Raiders, the Bears, the Vikings, to name a few that is currently stuck in mediocrity and has no chance to win a Super Bowl is the worst place you can be as a franchise. Rather than being Super Bowl contenders, which is the ultimate goal, or even being bad enough to finish within the top 10 of the draft, they find themselves picking in this 10-18 to 18 range where they can grab one of the better quarterbacks in every draft or take the best players at their positions like a Panay Sewell, Michael Parsons, Jamar Chase, Caleb Farley, and so forth. It will once again come down to having the draft well in the mid first plus the middle rounds of the draft and find out what they want to do with Derek Carr. Derek Carr to me is a fine quarterback but Carr cannot win with this current Raiders roster. They had the 25th ranked defense in football, there's a new defensive coordinator Gus Bradley, and it's not like the Raiders have these out of the world offensive playmakers outside of Darren Waller and Josh Jacobs. If I were them I would try to trade Derek Carr especially coming off the best season of his career and a team friendly contract for the next couple years. This is the absolute peak value for Derek Carr and maybe you can grab a first round pick plus another pick if you're lucky. Considering this is only year 4 out of 10 for John Gruden, it's hard for me to say he's on the hot seat but if things don't start looking better in 2021, there may start to be real questions about not only him but Mike Mayock as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you did and I'll talk to you guys next time.